But frankly, we're looking to extricate ourselves from New York ultimately because I think the politics have gotten so bad. We're going to finish what we have, but we're going to look elsewhere. I think that New York City definitely has its ebbs and flows, and I think that we're seeing one of those periods of constriction as politics gets more difficult, as land use process gets more difficult. We're finding it harder and harder to do real estate in New York City. In this incredible age of change and equality and leveling playing fields, I really hope that all of your viewers and all of your readers recognize that trickle-down economics works. If you really want parity, if you want to narrow the gap for earners and wages, well, you really can't tax the rich too much. You can't attack real estate too much. This year, we're in between 24 and 30 cents on the dollar for every dollar earned in real estate. We're one of the highest in the nation. we got to fix that. Obviously disappointed in what happened uh, up in Albany with the rent laws, uh, but you know the city you know, continues to grow and create jobs. We finance you know, with the billions of dollars of real estate taxes that we pay you know, to the city to, to pay for firemen and uh, you know, teachers and policemen and women. And so we, we need to continue to grow our economy create jobs, we got to work on uh, uh, the REAP benefits that are expiring at the end of, uh, uh, end of June uh, to continue that expansion of our, of our city economy. Well, number one, we need to write better legislation. Number two, we need to have a grassroots campaign of electing people that are more moderate and more to the right. So if we could educate the public, maybe more than 12% of the public will vote. And if we could get the voters out there to vote for the next election, then I think we're going to have a change, and therefore these people in the room can build affordable housing, can build the New York that we dreamt about when Michael Bloomberg was mayor. Well, you know, it, it's not a great political environment for a variety of reasons, both on an international, national, and local level. But, you know, there, there's probably no industry in New York City that's more resilient than real estate. Um, you know, we go through cycles. I'm a lifelong New Yorker. I've never been out of New York City more than six weeks of my life. And over those 50-so years, We've seen ups and downs, and you know, real estate is always standing strong at the end of the day. Um, so we'll get through these tough times. You know, there's an old saying: uh, you know, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. Well, the going is getting tough, and I, I'd like to think in this situation, the real estate is the tough, and we're going to get going.